Right, go to your browser, go to google.com and search for download DroyCam for Windows. Click on this link and then you need to download DroyCam client. Make sure you save it. I normally save it on my desktop so it's easy to find. Um, click on the app and then you need to install it in your Windows. Just follow the steps. It should only take a few seconds to install it. Should be done now. Open the app and then go to Play Store on your smartphone. Search for Droid Cam. There is two apps, one for free and one you have to pay for. Click on the one for free and install. Once it's installed, open it. Two messages will appear. Click allow and then go to the setting. Click settings and then make sure microphone or the camera microphone is selected. You can choose the front or back camera to use. Great, now copy both the Wi-Fi IP and the DroyCam port and type it on the DroyCam app on your Windows. Make sure both video and audio are selected and then click start. The camera now should be working as you can see. It's great. Next, you need to open your Microsoft Teams. Click on Microsoft Teams and then click on the profile photo which you can find it on the upper right corner and then click on settings and then click on devices and then make sure the microphone droid cam is selected and then the droid cam camera is selected if you want to test it then click on make a test call as you can see now you'll be able to use your smartphone as a webcam as well as a microphone and you have the freedom to move it around as you like and you'll be able to enjoy the high quality of your smartphone camera. I hope you found it helpful.